Hey what's up everyone, it's Guru from Contrast Gamers and today we're going to be reviewing the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that was revealed during Disney's D23 conference. Now obviously the big thing for me was, hey how are we going to get to look at some new worlds? And yes we did! But before we get there, let us look at the worlds that we already know exist in this universe. We already know we're going to visit Olympus, as Yen Sid suggests that we go visit an old friend to help get us back up on our feet. The Tangled Universe is another place we've already seen with a lot of gameplay. I'm personally super excited just because of the scenery and how beautiful it looks. And the last location that has been confirmed is the Big Hero 6 universe. Now I can't wait to see this universe. Just off of the photo alone that they gave us, kind of gives you that Twilight Town sunset feel. So I'm super excited just to explore the town or the environment if that's the case. Alright, so now let's look at the trailer itself. The new trailer starts off with some cool combats, you know, swords kicking ass, the usual. However, there are these letters flying across the screen, and at first I thought it was like copyright or something, I didn't really care. Uh, however, Square Enix decided to kick us in the feels, and the letters actually spell out this. Don't assume your dreams are just fantasy. If you can imagine a world, believe in it, and dive in. I personally believe that this is a huge concept. The fact that Sora always talks about how he's gonna miss his friends every time he leaves the world or that the world's gonna fall in the darkness or whatnot, like, it, it just goes on forever. <laughs> so I think that if Sora really wants to go visit a world again, all he has to really do is, of course, imagine a world and it will come back into existence. And this has been pointed out with people too, that if you believe in this person, if you believe that your connection is strong enough with the individual, that you may have the power to recreate them, to bring them back kind of thing. And so, I don't know, that's just my hunch, but I think that's a huge thing for me, at least. So now let's talk about the new world that they showed in the trailer. I absolutely lost it. Like after all the combats and stuff, this is what they show. Uh, yeah, like that's, that's a picture of Woody. This is Toy Story. You're in Andy's room. This is where you start off. Uh, I, like Toy Story 2 for PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> like that shit was my jam. Like this is incredible. Now, not only do we get to explore a new world, but check out the new Sora. So cool! <laughs> Donald and Goofy, of course, are also decked out, and uh, you're actually turned into a toy when you enter this world. You're about the same size as the army soldiers. After defeating a few of the Heartless, Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang come out to talk with Sora, Donald, and Goofy about how the Heartless have been showing up just recently. However, they only showed up after Andy and a few others have gone missing. Now, this is just really confusing, because I don't know if the people who Buzz is calling the intruders is Organization 13, and that the Heartless only showed up after because maybe Maleficent is doing her shit again, but clearly the Heartless weren't there when Andy and them were still kicking around. Now Sora being Sora is like, hey, I'll go find your friends, but Woody kind of disagrees with this logic and says that they should work together. So we're going to team up with the toys and try finding Andy. The first place we're going to look is Galaxy Toys and oh man, yes, favorite level in Toy Story 2 PlayStation. Uh, I cannot wait. The big thing also about the trailer was we get to explore the environment, like it's an open world. We get to run on the roof. We get to like go smash on the driveway and stuff, not literally smash, like chill out. Uh, we get to run on the lawn and everything. And then even Galaxy Toys is massive, like the place is huge. Also, Sora can ride these big machines that are walking around. These guys I'm assuming are probably like the large bodies of this world. But like, you can jump in the machines and screw up a lot of these people. Like it's super awesome. The last scene in the trailer shows a quick conversation between Sora and young Xehanort. One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Now, I'm not sure who him is, but I'm assuming if this is still in the Toy Story universe, that maybe Xehanort is trying to get a hold of Andy's heart. The next thing that Xehanort says is, like Heartless and Nobodies, they fit together. Now, obviously this makes sense, right? When a Heartless and a Nobody come together, they create a being, or when they disappear, the being comes back to life. A good example is Lee, when his Nobody Axel, and I guess they're Heartless from wherever, were both destroyed, Lee came back into existence. 
Sora being Sora obviously doesn't care much for Xehanort's philosophy and is wondering why he's doing what he's doing apparently in this world. To which he replies, there is a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide a clue. So now I'm wondering if they're trying to put hearts into empty shells for example, like Ventus, you know, if they found his body or not, or if they're trying to find uh, someone else but the only connection is through someone else like you know their hearts are connected so maybe they're trying to do that I don't know it, it's super weird but that's the entirety of the trailer uh, if I missed anything you know leave it in the comments below if you guys have your own speculations on you know what might happen in the story or what's there to see or anything again that I missed uh, you know leave it in the comments below hit that like hit that subscribe button and of course I'll catch you guys in the next video. Keep on gaming, folks. See you then.